Yo ho, yo guys, what's up? This is Dave, the Oops Cancer here. So if you're a Google Play Music user, you probably know the app caches this data onto your internal storage. Now, this can be quite annoying when you have multiple gigs of data just hooded all over your precious internal memory. However, there is a fix for it. Using an app called ROM Toolbox, we can create a shortcut on your internal storage and link it to somewhere on your external storage, almost like symbolic linking in a way. So to do this, you just basically need to have a rooted Android device, and that's it. So, let's get this started. Open source gangster, hey! Alright guys, so before we begin, I just want to say that this method, in which I'm about to show you, is not just applicable to Google Play Music, but can also be applied to other apps that places their data on your internal storage. So anyway, let's get started on this. So to do this, first you're going to need a fabulous app called ROM Toolbox. It is free and also comes with a paid version. Now ROM Toolbox allows you to do so many great things, the best thing since sliced bread. Um, it allows you to do so much and it's just a great app. So getting back to, let's go back to the home screen. Okay, on the home screen you have all these great options, all this good buttery stuff. But what we want to do is we want to go to root browser. Alright, inside root browser we see all of our folders and everything else. What we want to do is first create a folder on your external SD card. Now if your device does not have an external SD card, a physical external SD card, then you might as well just stop right now because this is pretty much useless to you. However, if you do have an external SD card, Here's what we want to do. You want to locate the mount point and create a folder there. So from our data route, to get to, for myself, for my device, the ASUS Transformer, I'm going to go to storage, SD card 1, and that's my external SD card. Yours may be the same, yours may be different. I know my Galaxy S3, I have to go to external SD card. It actually says EXT SD card. So it's really all up to your device. Once you're in that said folder, what we're going to do is go to new create new folder. You can give this any folder, any name that you want. I'm just going to call it blah. Psh, wow, I can't spell blah. Blah. Alright, so you create a folder inside your external SD card. Call it anything you want. Now within that folder, what we want to do is create another folder. And this folder, you do have to call music. So call it music. And use lowercase m. It will just make life much easier. And we like making life easy. Alright, so call it music. Alright, so the Right now, we just created a music folder inside that blah folder or whatever folder you made it on your external SD card. What we're now going to do is link this to the music folder on your internal storage for Google Play Music. It sounds complicated, but trust me, it's really easy. So hold down this folder, go down to create shortcut. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to go back and then keep going back. All right, we're at our root. From our root, what we're going to do is go to data. Data. Now what we want to do is, is navigate to com.google.android.music. And that is where Google holds its files at for Google Play Music. It's pretty neat. com.google.android.music, right there. All right, then you have files. And then you should see a music folder. I probably already deleted mine. But right there would be a music folder. Now, if you have a music folder there, what you want to do is delete it, obviously. Um, you will have to re-download your cached music, so that's kind of the only downside of it, but I'm sure it's not going to be that much of a pain to do. Once, you're in this, once you delete it, your music folder, and you just have artwork there, just go and go to Create. And it's going to copy. Oh my gosh, look at that, right there. It is create a shortcut to your music folder on your external SD card. Alright, so this is all great and fancy and all, but I guess the big thing is saying, did this work? So let's go back to Google Play Music. I'm just going to quickly cache a small playlist to my device. Uh, let's go to Keep On Device. And we're downloading that right there. Alright, so our music has just finished downloading. Now let's go to ES File Explorer and check our external SD card and see if it's really there. So let's go home. We'll go to ES File Explorer. We're going to navigate to Storage. SD card 1. And blah. Music. And voila. Our music is right there. The music we just cached is right there in that folder, not taking up any room on our internal memory and taking up all the space it needs on our external storage. Now, like I said, this is not just applicable to Google Play Music. This can be applied to practically any app, really, that puts its data on your internal storage. You could create shortcuts all over the place and just use this app and make it work. And it will be a great way to save on space. So thanks, guys, for watching. This has been How to Move Your Google Play Music from your internal storage to your external storage. Hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for another galvanizing video.
Thanks.